Welcome to Four Oak Street. Firstly, thank you for all the comments on the completion of the uh, of the loop. Uh, some of the comments were very kind indeed, and um, I'm now just actually getting a feel for actually operating the layout. So one of the things I wanted to do was actually get an understanding of scale speed on some of the locos and I thought by once I could actually get the uh, scale speed uh, by using obviously distance covered by how, how fast um, I could then use the same formula which is uh, distance equals speed times time um, to calculate the length of the layout. So I went on to various websites and obviously there's been some videos done by various people. Um, and what I've worked out is that if I take a scale thousand feet, uh, which you obviously divide for N-gauge and particularly the English uh, style N-gauge manufacturers, 148. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how long it takes a train to cover a scale mile. So to work out what a scale mile is, you take 5,280 feet, divide it by 148, and that gives you 35.67 feet. So what I've done on the layout is I've gone and got a piece of string and using um, a 10 foot ruler I've, uh, I've marked lengths of 10 feet and then placed it down the outer loop which you will see so um, where the markers are so I'll just run a couple of trains and you can see where the markers are for this 35.67 feet then what we're going to do is run the class 108 at a speed which I believe to be six, about 60 miles an hour, uh, which is, I've calculated speed step 63. And what I actually did to do that was I measured using some of the formulas on um, the internet, I actually uh, worked out a distance, I think it was uh, 83, uh, 83 inches um, and then worked it from there. So let's just uh, see a couple of trains running and I'll show you where those marks are. So the first mark starts off as you come through the road bridge. The next mark you can see is there. and a class 37 which you're now seeing and the class 40 just going up the slope
and following the same path is the class 37. I'm going to now start the class 108 um, and we will uh, get the stopwatch ready as it goes uh, past the road bridge. Right, speed step 63. Right, ready with the clock. So, one minute and one second, so I'd say pretty close to 60 mile an hour. What we'll do now is, we'll do a complete lap. Away we go. Now I won't bore you as it goes down the helix and back up the helix but I'll keep the, uh, the clock going obviously so we'll see when it gets back to the, the marker on the viaduct. Speed step still 63 Heading up the inside of the helix now. And of course to complete the lap it's got to go actually round the this whole section again. Because obviously it did the first lap on the lower two tracks there.
just coming up to the six minute mark. So 7.27, I'm just going to now stop that train. So based on that calculation, 7.27 means that it's done the equivalent of 7.27 miles, which at that speed of 60 mile an hour. And for a class 108, I think they, in areas where they could, they would get up to around 70 mile an hour. So speed step 63 is pretty reasonable for that one. And what I can now do by using those marks, I can now put other trains, look at what speeds they would have done or what sort of scale, and just time them through that, that mile and um, see, I suppose, what the time it takes to calculate the speed. That gives us 35.67 feet, as we know, for a scale mile. And that took approximately a minute and a second. So now, if I divide, or times rather, 35.67 times 7.27, we know now we have 259.362 feet is one lap. So if I times that by 12, that will give me inches. So we have 3112.34. Now I'll divide that by 39 and that should give us meters. So that is a run of 79.8 metres, which is about right, because obviously there's effectively two loops, and that would be uh, around about 160 metres. And I can't remember whether I actually bought six or seven boxes of track. I'd have to go back through all my receipts. But anyway, what I've been able to do then is work out um, 60 miles an hour for the class 108 and using the time taken to do a mile to then record the time to do a whole lap and then work out the distance from that. Now what I did earlier was using two marks I actually did a similar thing but over a thousand feet. And over a thousand feet, it worked out to be 81 inches. And I did the same, the same calculation um, and came out very, very similar numbers. But apparently, the longer the measurement in terms of rather than a thousand feet, doing the equivalent of a scale 5,280 feet, which is the scale mile, um, or, as it was, looking at my notes, which was 35.67 feet, makes it a bit more accurate. So, um, so, yeah, that's it. So I've got an idea now on a couple of things. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.